Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Andrew Hecker, Deputy Director and CFO, Port of Miami. Good morning, buenos dias. Welcome to day two of the America Summit. I want to encourage you to continue the brilliant work from day one. I'm Andy Hecker, I'm the Deputy Director of Port Miami, Miami-Dade County, our Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. We welcome you and, and we wish, wish you much success. At Port Miami, I want to consider you friends. I don't know you all, but friends are folks that you lean on for support, folks that you trust, and folks that you rely on to achieve certain things. And at Port Miami, we're very much aligned with the work that you're doing, finding solutions through communities, connecting people, smart cities, environmental resilience, and understanding that a lot of the factors that affect us and those in the Western Hemisphere are caused by the decisions that people make, economic influences that then drive migration and immigration, economies and how they work. And hopefully, through the work that you guys do, we can get through geopolitical adversity, focus on core issues, and achieve many, many great things. At Port Miami, as I said, we're very much aligned with what you're doing. And if I can share with you, we're at the southernmost tip of the United States, very strong ties and links to the Americas. What we've seen through a supply chain crisis in our opinion, wasn't caused by the pandemic, but rather exposed by the pandemic. It shows what happens when long supply chains break, when there's not cooperation and collaboration on how to solve them, and what effects that have. We are building a lot of infrastructure. You'll hear more about that over the next few months and the next couple of years, over $800 million. To build out a supply chain, that is more aligned with Western Hemisphere, nearshoring, friendshoring. We see several market forces in place, some of it caused by the disruption in these breaking supply chains, some of it caused because of geopolitical adversity, some of it caused because the wage differentials that originally drove a lot of manufacturing to Asia don't exist to the same degree they used to in countries in Latin America, Colombia, Ecuador, and others. We also see some changes in agricultural patterns, water shortages in the West Coast, but yet no decrease in demand for the goods, the consumables, the perishables that are grown in those regions. Yet those can continue to be grown in the Western Hemisphere, flow into the United States, through locations that are strategically positioned like Port Miami, and we're making a lot of investments to enhance that. So in your sessions today, I know at 9.35, economic impacts on migration at 1240, increasing and enhancing trade. I wish you much success. We hope your brilliant work continues and we hope to continue to be a part of it. So I wanna wish you well on day two and thank you very much.